Hey everyone, this is Joe and John with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we're hiking the Wells Hill Park trail system just outside of Fayetteville, Tennessee. <laughs> The Wells Hill Park Trail is a three and a half mile out and back trail that follows a dry creek bed up a small valley that has three branches. The west branch leads to a lovely little waterfall, a definite must see destination. The center branch is not as nice, but it's okay, up through the woods to the top of a hill. The third branch to the east has a small cascade of water falling down into it, very nice. Overall, the trail is extremely easy and family friendly and consists mostly of walking down a gravelly creek bed. It is just outside of Fayetteville, Tennessee, which makes it easy to get to. Here's the Wells Park with a little picnic area. And some picnic benches around. And the trail starts in the back of the park and heads up into a uh, canyon back here. Having just started up the trail, we have found a building built into the side of the trail here. We aren't sure what its purpose was. It's all concrete. There is water running out of it over here. So I don't know if the building was built over a spring or a cave. There's a pretty good echo. <laughs> Don't know what the building is all about. Much of this trail consists of walking up the stream bed, which is dry, at least this time of year, or walking down trails that are uh, obviously old ATV trails. Um, some maybe used not so long ago. But it's a pretty easy hike, no matter which way you do it. We are at the trail intersection. We just came from that way. Continuing straight would mean continuing up the canyon that way. There is a right side that goes off this way and a left the other direction. But we're gonna try going this way first and see what there is to see. We have reached a lovely little waterfall at the edge of this side channel. This is the west fork of the trail. It is nice and cool here at the base of the falls. It's not too hot a day, but this is even nicer. Notice some fossils in this rock here. You can see some really nice crinid fossils. That's these, these uh, long ones here with the little rings in them. Crinids were uh, animals that had a plant-like -like lifestyle. They, they grew up on stems on the bottom of the ocean. And these prints are what's left of their stems. Over here you can see another little fossil right there. That's pretty cool. That's like, I think that's a bryozoan. Very nice. Here's another good print that Jonathan found. Here you can actually see the spiral of one of the uh, crinids right there. Very cool. You can see a whole bunch of them imprinted in this uh, limestone. Common fossils around here. Noticed a little spider hanging here on its web. Right in the middle of the trail. Had lots of those we've run into. So this one we managed to avoid. We are back to our trail intersection. So this time we are going to continue off to the right. And uh, we're just going to keep making right-hand turns today and see where it leads us.
this is pretty much the end of the second side canyon. Just a trickle of water running. All right, we're gonna descend back down into the canyon. We are back to the main intersection and uh, we're gonna go up our last side channel, turning right once again. We are near the end of another canyon. Nice cascade of water coming down. All right, I think this is gonna be far enough for today. I don't feel like slipping down wet rocks. And we already had a minor injury, so uh, probably time to head back. We have returned back to the main intersection where the trails up all three valleys converge, and we're going to head back for the exit, which is that way. John found a really nice crinid fossil again. Very cool. We have made it back to the parking area at the Wells Hill Park. Mm -hmm.